Hey everyone, so I'm curious about how my print bed heats up. So we have the print bed, and then underneath is the thermistor, and that's what actually reads the temperature. But on top of the heat bed, we have this glass pane. And I'm curious to see if the temperature that the thermistor reads is the same as the temperature of the glass itself. And I'm also curious to see if these points along the edges are the same temperature as the point in the middle. So I have this. It is a uh, infrared thermometer that can read up to uh, far surpass the temperature of the print bed itself. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to read the uh, the temperature of the glass itself. Now, in order to read it, I had to put some masking tape um, on the glass, and then I'm going to read the temperature of the masking tape. Um, so we'll see if the temperatures that I get for this matches the temperatures that the thermistor reads. So over here on my computer, I have Octoprint, and Octoprint conveniently tells us the bed temperature, and it'll create a nice graph for us here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the stopwatch, and I'm going to tell the uh, heat bed to reach a target temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. And then every uh, 30 seconds, I'm going to record the temperature that Octoprint reads, and then also the temperature of the heat bed. And it just now hits 90 with 6 minutes and 50 seconds. Well, this reads 77.6. I'll come back in in a few degrees. One hundred at nine thirty seven with eighty six point nine. One oh five at eleven thirty and ninety one point three. And exactly at 110, we have hit 96.4 on here, and it is still rising. Oh, well, the temperature is down to 108.7. Let's see how my PID. Uh, how my PID controller is is tuned. So it reached 110 and immediately dropped to 108.7. So let's see if it reaches 110 again and see how big that difference is. One hundred and ten. Will it overshoot that? 110.1? Nope. So it looks like it hovers between 110 and 108.7 or so. So a 2 degrees fluctuation between my PID controller, that's not too bad. So I have the temperature set to 110 degrees, and this hasn't quite come to steady state, but I'm curious to see what the difference is, is between the center points and the outer points. So while I let the bed reach steady state, I'm just going to use the infrared thermometer to see. So we see here in the middle, 
at the dead middle, it is showing 96.8 degrees Celsius. And over here, it is dramatically different. 84 points. I'm going to stay on there. Yeah, it's looking about 84.4. So even down here on the other side of the tape is just, it's about 80. If I look over here on this other side, looks like I'm getting some interference from something. If I get closer. Somewhere between 77 and 75. It's hard getting a stable reading. And over here, 87. The middle again, 97. And then over here, 88. So yeah, it looks like there is a big difference, a 10 degrees difference from the center of the build plates to the outer edges. And even more down here for some reason. That is completely baffling. I would not expect that big a gradient from just the center to the outer edge. But, hey, that's crazy. So I'm going to go and I'm going to let this reach steady state. I'm going to let the heater run and remain at 110 degrees Celsius, or so that's what it thinks, for about 10 to 15 minutes to see if the temperatures uh, will reach steady states. See if we can get a consistent temperature on the build plate. So I'll see you once it reaches that point. Okay, 10 minutes has passed. Let's see what the temperature is on the middle of the plate. It's looking like 96.4, which is about the temperature that we saw last time. So it doesn't take too long for the build plate to reach a steady state temperature once the heater gets the temperature. But you can see that there is a big difference between what the thermistor reads and what is actually on my build plate. Because I currently have my build plate set at 110 degrees Celsius, but we're only reaching 96.7 on the top of my glass. I'm also curious to see what the temperature is underneath the build plates. So you can see here I have glass, then I have the heater element, that's this red part. Then I have some piece of cork for insulation. And then this is laser-cut uh, wood down here. So I wonder what the temperature is on the wood right below the heat bed. So let's figure that out. And I'm going to lift up the printer. And hopefully not break anything while doing it. And then we can get a temperature. Looks like it's about 53.4. Same on this side, and then near the end, you can see that it's dramatically cooler near the end, 24, and that it increases pretty rapidly until you get to right to the middle, which is about 54 degrees. So that is the end of this video. We learned that even though the thermistor is reading 110 degrees, it's actually only about 96 degrees in the middle of the build plates, and that from the middle of the build plate to the edge of the build plate, there's a good 10 degrees difference just between here. So that may affect large prints that are using the entire heated bed. So we'll see in later videos, I'm going to use this infrared thermometer to also look at a few other temperatures like the hot end here, some of the motors and see if we can tune those. So uh, thanks for watching, like the video if you like the video and uh, be sure to subscribe for some more awesome videos coming in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.